three very important things that I want to talk to you about in this video. Uh, one of them being this, uh, it's just a huge load of crap. Also, I'm going to talk about what happened on the live stream that got blocked, it seems, in most countries. And I want to make sure that you guys are ready for that $500 giveaway that's coming up. Today is the last day to enter it, so I'm going to make sure you have the information you need. Hello! Ah, mother... What's up, guys? Okay. I got a lot of information in this video coming up, like a lot. Before we get into it, Reptile Super Show is the largest reptile expo in the world. Now located at the Anaheim Convention Center right next to Disneyland in a three acre building, this is gonna be the largest reptile super show ever. Thousands of reptiles and amphibians will be on display and for sale. Meet reptile breeders from around the globe and take home a cherished pet of your own. Animals, supplies, enclosures, and everything you need will be under one roof. Don't miss this epic event, the Reptile Super Show. Check out reptilesupershow.com and get your tickets today. Reptile Super Show is coming up in Anaheim. It's going to be the biggest show in the world yet, 50% bigger than the last Super Show in January. Now it's in Anaheim. And it's gonna be it's gonna be enormous. And uh, I did make that video. Obviously, that was me talking. I mean, it was the same microphone. I'm hoping to see a lot of you guys there. I'm hoping to meet a lot of new people there. It's it's gonna be huge. I mean, the the venue looks like it's gonna be super nice. I'm just I'm pretty pumped. It's coming up soon. It's our big local California show, and uh, it seems like it's gonna be a good one. Just keep getting bigger and better. So I'm hoping that we can see as many of you guys down there as possible. I'll be down there just sitting up. I, I may bring a snake or two. And other than that, I'm just going to set up some tables and chairs. We can hang out and talk and do whatever, man. It should be it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I hope to see most of you guys there. If you don't even know what the Reptile Super Show is, well, the link is in the description, my friends. Okay, now aside from that, I've got three, three very important things that I want to talk to you about in this video. Uh, one of them being this, uh, it's just a huge load of crap. It's really just a huge, it's probably the biggest load of crap I've ever, we'll get to that, and uh, also I'm going to talk about what happened on the live stream that got blocked, it seems, in most countries, and I want to make sure that you guys are ready for that $500 giveaway that's coming up, today is the last day to enter it, so I'm going to make sure you have the information you need to do that, it's $500 value, did I say that? I hope I said that. Really? The cricket's going to start now? Oh. There's been people dropping stuff on the floor, scraping chairs across the floor upstairs and all this kind of crazy stuff going on up there. It's making it real hard to record a video. And then the crickets start chirping, right, when it starts quietly upstairs. Anyway, let's. Uh, okay, before we get into those three important things, I just wanted to go over a couple personal updates. There's been a lot of things happening over here since the last time I made a video, it feels like. My parents were here visiting with my sister, visiting from Belgium for the holidays, and we're going to be going up there to see them too. So, but... We got to hang out with my little nieces that one of them I haven't met before. We went and picked up our Christmas tree, which is always awesome and fun. I just really love picking up a Christmas tree. It just really sets the feel. We got one that smells really, really nice. Uh, you know, you get that little smell. That's like the big thing for me is the way the, the tree smells in the house. It just brings back all those memories. Smell is one of the strongest triggers for memory. Did you know that? Yes, that's the fact. Also, it's finally started to rain around here, which has been great for having snakes start to lock up. We've been getting these nice, beautiful clouds in the sky too. The rain, and luckily it came right in time. There's this huge fire in Santa Barbara. And, uh, I don't, well, I don't know how huge, but it was a fire and firemen were kind of like, we'll maintain it. And then hopefully the rain will come soon and put it out. And the rain came and, uh, thankfully our first rain here in California, we got it. Also little, little Mushi's teeth. She has these little cavities on the front and they put some stuff on it. So to halt the cavities before they can fully take care of them. And Noah had the same thing when he was little, it's some, some kind of genetic deal, but it looks like she's wearing braces now. Pretty cute, actually, even though, and they don't, it doesn't seem to be hurting her since they halted the process of whatever was happening with the cavity on the front of her teeth, but it looks like she's wearing braces. It's kind of interesting. It's like an infant, but she's like a teenager. It's so, so weird. Eli has been extra snuggly. I have no, no qualms there. Also, oh, the shirt. Uh, my buddy Travis is going to be officially hosting, my buddy Travis over at Living Legless Reptiles is officially going to be hosting uh, 2020 Carpet Fest, which is looks going to be like June, middle of June sometime. So if you want to come and hang out with us for that, make sure you get a hold of Travis or join the uh, Southwest Carpet Fest page so you can get in on that because it was awesome this year. I'm sure it's going to be even more awesome this coming year. One more thing before we talk about the giveaway and the live stream, what happened and the huge of the crap. Uh, Noah, Noah, my boy, he's been getting super smart dude he just uh, i don't usually talk about the kids like that you know i just kind of let them speak for themselves but we, sh we should let him speak for himself 
he wanted to read some book for you guys, so no. Take away, my friend. Go ahead and pick your favorite. Tiger Shark. My number one favorite. Okay, it says big, heavy, and strong with a mouth full of extremely sharp teeth plus a massive appetite. Few other marine creatures would tangle with a tiger shark. Big three most dangerous sharks to humans. Good job, No Sage. Along, You're freaking killing it, bro. Along with the great white and the bull shark. <laughs> this. Formidable predator eats anything it can swallow, big or small. Wow, no, Sage, I, you, you just impressed me again. You've already been impressing me with your reading, bud, but you just, that was a okay. nice work, my friend. That was the facts. No, no, I think that's good enough. <laughs> I just do three facts. Okay. Wait. 15 feet. Female, larger. Weight up to a thousand four hundred and fifty pounds. Range tropical and warm oceans. Status near threatened. I don't know what that means. It means that it's uh, g- getting close to being in trouble because of uh, not necessarily going instinct, but the, p- the numbers are down. Good job, bud. Thanks. Thanks, dude. You're good, good. You got your segment in. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. What do you want to do now? Well, I'm going to do my own part of the video now, so... This was the no part of the video. But you can go back upstairs and help mommy clean a little bit while I finish up the rest of it. Okay? Thanks, bud. You're welcome. (laughs) Okay, now the giveaway is... I have something I brought up before, and it's coming up on the Freedom Breeder channel. It's one of those Cocoa Blocks shakers that they're giving away. It's been valued at around $500, and it's uh, free shipping in the United States. Well, the, the contest is in the United States. I think they've offered up a... A cash prize for international people but if you haven't gotten tuned into that yet you should probably go over to the freedom breeder channel subscribe which is one of the requirements and find those videos that you need to comment on to up your chances of being a winner on that thing pretty sweet little device and uh it doubles as a table and it's like i have seen some comments about uh like why isn't it just like perfectly strained like that when it comes i mean when you get the product in from an i'll let jesse tell you about the the whole the details there but he did just find a new distributor that gets even cleaner product than they were already getting which was pretty clean but that cleaning process adds to cost so he's kind of trying to save people on cost. anyway i don't, I don't want to get into all of it you can get, win something for free is badass over freedom breeder go check it out the live stream that i did right before um the interview with samson came out that day Obviously, many people have reached out and many people maybe have seen that that video got blocked in most countries. And that was because I played a song at the end that I just felt like I really needed to play that song at the end of that live stream. It just it was a last minute decision right before I started. I started the stream 10 minutes late, which is way later than I usually start most of my streams. Usually I'm quite punctual on the, the live streams, but I was super late because I you know, was spitting everywhere. It was very important to me that that song was in there and it ended up getting it. Co- copyright blocked by not just like because sometimes i'll get a copyright warning on stuff but this one just was a full block in like most countries it seemed unfortunately um fortunately i, I didn't realize i was having such a snap we went to the live stream the audio was horrible if you're one of the people that made it you know my mom was there talking with me about stuff fortunately we we kind of went over the same topic a bit in our podcast episode that we just recorded the other day um here's a little clip trying to throw out a disclaimer you know uh triple b tv brian cusco's vlog channel reach out reptiles all that kind of stuff those are great you know family friendly venues this one is not so 
you know, parents, if your kids are listening to this, smack them. Smack them. Smack them hard. Kids, if your parents are listening to this, you better get a hold of them before they, I don't know, sell your college fund off to us reptile shystas. <laughs> well, while we're shouting out to other Smack things, I'm too. actually recording on my vlog channel right now just so that people can uh, see that we're doing a podcast. We're recording the podcast the first time, Garrett not being here in person. And I'd like to invite you guys watching the vlog to come over and check out this podcast, especially if you missed last night's live stream, which got blocked in most countries because <laughs> of the song I played at the end of the live stream. Unfortunately, I heard about that. Yeah, but it was good. It was really good. My mom sat down with me, and uh, if you if you missed that, then you can come tune to this podcast, and I'm probably going to talk about it a lot here. So if you look forward to that podcast, if you missed the live stream, it was kind of a similar subject matter in a lot of that podcast, um, as, as it's obvious me talking with Garrett instead of my mom. But um, for those of you that were there, there was it seemed like there was almost 700 people in the live stream. Uh, that's how many views it got before it got shut down, which is immediately when it got stopped being live. So... Chances are you know one of the people if you want to kind of try and figure out what it was exactly was happening. It was a good conversation with my mom. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Other than the horrible audio quality that I, because I was running through my laptop accidentally instead. Just horrible. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it kind of just adds to the, I don't know what. It's like somebody else can give you a secondhand rendition of what it was that was happening in the live stream. It seemed to get some pretty good response though. Um yeah, uh, I think other than that, I think that was all the major updates, right? Oh no, the huge load of crap. Look at that big load of crap, man. That that might the, be the biggest load of crap that Halo's ever taken. I mean, here, look, there's a spoon for comparison. Oh man, I guess I'm not eating ice cream later. <laughs> Hey, that's called, that's called having a snake by its tail right there, bro.